Hello and good day. Today we're going to discuss the first part of the Gen Ed exam of this uh, review. Okay? So just sit back and relax and uh, hold on to your paper so that you can uh, look back into what you've uh, answered before or so maybe you can uh, take down some notes as we uh, uh, rationalize the answer. Okay. So, uh, the uh, number one uh, sentence says, Had I studied very well, I have not rewarded with vacation in the U.S. So, this is something that is finished already. You know, look at the given. Had I studied, given. Rewarded, also given. Okay. And, uh, I mean, also done. So, you're supposed to substitute for something that... Uh, like, like uh, uh, eliminates the possibility that it would happen again. again. So, so the answer is letter B. B. Okay, it would have been rewarded with vacation. You cannot use letter C because of the future aspect, and you can not uh, choose letter uh, A because uh, you cannot put was with rewarded. Okay, and uh, you cannot. Uh, well, you might say it, letter D is also an option, but in the context of the sentence, letter B is the answer. Okay. So, so, next. When helping, when helping in the kitchen, I am always careful not to hurt. So, you, so you need a reflexive uh, pronoun here. here. Okay. okay. The, the initial uh, pronoun used is, is I. I. So, so you're, you're supposed, supposed to use the reflexive pronoun for that, which is myself. Okay. okay. Next. next. Neither, Neither the teacher nor the students land pregnant in the appearance. What, what is the rule here? here? The, rule the rule states that the noun that is closer to the verb must be the basis of the number, okay, singular or plural, of the, uh, uh, of the sentence, okay? So here, there are two nouns, you can see uh, teacher and, uh, or students, okay? Uh, so uh, the, na the nearer noun is students, so we must choose letter what? Letter A. a. Okay. Okay. Where? Where? Because, because that is the only thing that's plural, plural in, in the uh, sentence. sentence. Number, Number four. four. So, so the next sentence states, states that. that. What, does what does it say? say? My, My sister, sister and I met, met an acquaintance of Lang on, on the shopping mall. Of course, of course there, there are two subjects here, here but we don't, we're, we're not using correlative conjunction, either nor or either or. So, so we, we are pertaining to two subjects, subjects my sister and I. I. Okay. okay. So, so that, that uh, contextually, contextually we're, we're supposed to, grammatically, uh, uh, we're supposed to choose letter A, A ours, ours, because there are two subjects. subjects. Okay. okay. Next, Next, we admire, admire Blanc when Cynthia, Cynthia that's a given, Cynthia, Cynthia speaks English fluently with Blanc. Blanc. Okay. okay. Cynthia, Cynthia obviously is a female. female. So, you so you're going to look, to look for uh, uh, pronouns here, here on the list that, that pertain to female. female. And, as and as you can see, him, him, him her, her, him, him only, only one refers to female, female gender. gender. So, so automatically, automatically it's a giveaway, giveaway that, that is letter C. C. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, we admire her, her. Okay. Okay. when, when Cynthia, Cynthia speaks. speaks. So, so this is what we call cataphoric reference. When the pronoun comes before, that's the noun. Next. Next. On your, on your trip, trip to Tagaytay, if you chance upon, meaning if you see Arsenio, a guy, please give him my warm, warm regards. Okay? okay? Arsenio obviously is a guy, so you're supposed to look for uh, an objective type of pronoun for that, and this is him. him. Okay. okay. Number, Number seven. seven. The, the student's request to reset the, the test. test. Blank, Blank reasonable. reasonable. The, the subject, subject here, here is supposed to look at the subject, subject and the subject here is, is request. Okay? okay? Request, request is singular, so, so you're, you're supposed to look for, for uh, a singular, singular verb here, here and that's letter D. D. Okay, okay, next. next. So, so my concept of inner peace came from my mother's daily activities, activities which, which I know, which, which I now recall with fondness and awe. She was, she was full time housewife, wholly dependent on my father's monthly salary. How she made both ends meet. Okay, meet both, both make, make ends, ends meet, meet, meaning there's a uh, uh, shortage or maybe lack of financial, uh, 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 you know, supply. So, guided us in our studies and did small acts of charity on the side was beyond me. Okay, so 
if you're saying, saying make, make ends, ends meet, so that is letter D, D limited. limited. Okay. okay. Next. Next. The, the figures must be translated in order to understand the grade. Okay. okay. So, uh, the, the given says that uh, it's something used by teachers. So, uh, uh, when, when you transmute grades, grade, it's like you're looking for equivalent, or you uh, transform the grades, the raw, raw ones, to what is supposed, supposed to be embedded in the grading sheet. sheet. So, so the answer here is letter B, B changed. changed. Okay. okay. Some, Some preachers, preachers suggest, yes, okay, preachers are also already doing uh, the, the suggesting, okay? okay. They, they suggest what? So you're supposed, supposed to look for something that they are suggesting. Okay. okay, you, you cannot can choose proposal. Okay. okay, this is not something that they propose. A prophetic, a prophetic is the adjective in nature, so, so it's, it's a toss between C and B, right? But, but the answer here is that is C. You're not looking for a person, but a uh, something that is uh, uh, intangible. So that's letter C, prophecy. Next, the, the courage of the child who saved his brother from a raging fire is worth black. Okay. okay. So, so the, uh, 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 the context is that, is that there's, there's something uh, uh, the, the child that did, did. Okay. okay, and, and uh, it's something that's probably, probably worth, uh, uh, you know, uh, not, not watching. watching. You're not going to make story, story out of it or guide the child, child, but emulate, meaning you try to follow the steps or the what the what the child did. So let Next. The expression, the expression badui, okay, okay, so a lot of us know, a lot of us uh, probably have encountered uh, this word, but badui means like you don't dress up well, you know, something like that, or you say something that isn't, uh, that is, that isn't uh, you know, positive in nature, perhaps. So uh, the connotation is that it's not decent, perhaps, so it's awkward looking. Okay. Next. Several, Several factors, factors must be assessed to arrive at the blank, uh, at the sound, sound blank. Okay, okay. So, so this is common when you're in a decision making process. So the, so the answer is letter uh, B, B, this decision. Okay, okay because, because of profanity, the, the program was suspended from television. television. The, the capitalized word means, so, so profane means it's, it's indecent, it's, it's not very proper. proper. Okay, maybe, maybe suggestive of any sexual innuendos. So the, so the answer is letter A. A. Okay, obscenity. Okay, so, so that is the answer. answer. Next. Next, number 15. A story, A story put together through an exchange of letters is called. Okay, okay. so, so uh, uh, this, these, these can be journals, these, these can be. Uh, narratives that were written by the uh, author which were used uh, as a part of a novel or the novel itself. So we call this epistolary novels. Okay. Next. What figure of speech is the Lord is my shepherd? So remember, simile, you have to, it's an indirect comparison where you use the word like, as, or than. And then, and then the, the metaphor is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, when you do direct, direct comparison. comparison. Irony is like, like sarcasm, sarcasm in nature, and hyperbole, or what other people say is hyperbole. It's, it's exaggeration. You don't see as or like here. You don't see a sarcasm. You don't see you don't see an exaggeration. So the answer is letter D. Okay, okay. metaphor. Okay. okay, what, what the, the figure, figure of speech is given in the next sentence. sentence. Okay, okay. Uh, he, he is the black sheep of the family. The family. Okay. okay, so, so again, again, the, the pattern, pattern is very similar to the first example, to number 16. So, so the answer here is letter A, A metaphor. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, next, sturdy and, and strong. Okay. okay. The, the Filipinos are like the Molave. Molave is like a kind of a plant or tree, right? So, so you, you see here the keyword like, like which, which would tell us that the figure of speech is a simile. Next. She, she is a lovely rose. rose. Okay. okay. No, no like, like. No, no ass. ass. No, no than. So, so what, is what is the answer? answer? Again, a metaphor. Right. Did you see? 
Did you get that? Okay, okay next. It, it drops as a gentle rain from the heaven. From heaven. So here. Like as. Right? Damn. You see as here. So what are you going to choose? Letter. Correct. That is letter B. Simile. Okay. Are you familiar with the Merchant of Venice? Okay. It's one of the famous uh, uh, works of uh, Shakespeare. The protagonist Portia. So in this line, the choice is supposedly letter C. Mercy is spontaneous and freely given. Okay, next. Though nothing can bring back the hour of splendor in the glass, the glory of glory in the flower, uh, we will grieve not. That's the given. We will not grieve. Okay? So what is that? That is? Okay, hope. Okay. When, when you, you are not dwelling, dwelling on something that's done, done or uh, you, know, you know you can't take back anymore, anymore that, that is that letter B. Hope. Oh, oh. okay, okay, number twenty-three. Cognitive, cognitive skills are not easily observable, observable because, because they are bland. Keywords, Keywords here. here it, it, you're you see in red, not easily observable, observable, right? So, so it's like, like you're looking for something that's kind of hidden. hidden. But, but another, another answer would or another keyword would make it. Not, not choose hidden, hidden because it says cognitive skills. skills. And cognitive skills pertain, pertain to uh, activities in the brain. And among the choices, there is something that is pertaining to the brain that is also hidden in nature and that is mental. So that's letter D. Next, the celebrated play of William Shakespeare about two ill starred uh, lovers, something is missing there, who came from. Families which are who are not in good terms. So do we know the answer. Correct. That is Romeo and Juliet. We did not know that. And then uh, next, number twenty-five. If you listen very well to your lecture in facilitation of learning, who is the father of modern technology? Can you guess? So the answer here is letter B. Okay, it will help. Once. Okay. okay, so, so that's the letter. Who is the famous sculptor of landmark structures? The famous sculptor of landmark structures. Siyempre, hindi nyo alam, di ba? Okay, lahat ng yan ay painter. Lahat ng yan ay painter maliban sa isa, which, which is a sculptor. The answer here is Castrillo. Everyone say Castrillo. Castrillo, very good. Okay, Castrillo. Castrillo, there he is. He is the one who sculpted the Edsa Monument. Okay, next. Edsa Monument. There. And La Pieta, Loyola Memorial. Sino siya, guys? Castrillo. Tandaan niyo na sinong sculptor? Castrillo. Very good. Okay, next. What is the lowest form of learning? The lowest form of learning is... Okay. Pag pata, kapag mataas na, palabas na siya. Kapag mababa, papasok pa lang siya. Kasi ang learning, kung mapasok pa lang, pag kaya mo na siyang ilabas, mataas na siya. So, hindi pwede ang teaching at saka ang responding. So, ano yung papasok dyan? Yes, very good. Perceiving. The answer is amazing. The answer here, guys, is perceiving. Okay? Pag sinabi natin, guys, na perceiving, okay, kapareho nito ang... Uh, Receiving, perceiving, receiving, knowledge, comprehension are all low levels of learning. Okay, the answer is amazing. Next number. Which of the following is study of human behavior? The study of human behavior is called psychology. Psychology, yes. Psychology is study of human behavior. Philosophy, on the other hand, come from two Greek words, which means philo and sophia. Philo and Sophia. Philo means love. Sophia means wisdom. So basically, philosophy is a love for wisdom. And that's philosophia. Or if you want your children to be very intelligent, you name them Sophia. Okay? Because Sophia means wisdom. And if you want them to be lovable, you name them Philo. Okay? Or file. And that is your philosophy. How about morality? Morality is a rightness or wrongness of an act. The rightness and wrongness of an act. Well, ethics is the goodness or badness of an act. They're almost the same, but right and wrong. Ano yung right and wrong? Morality. Ano yung good and bad? Ethics. Ano yung study of human behavior? Psychology. Love of wisdom? Philosophy. Very good. 29. 
The Filipinos are deeply religious. However, sometimes this religiosity instills a negative attitude. Ayan, may negative din daw. So ang hanapin lang natin dito guys ay kung ano ang negative. Ano nga ba ang negative dito guys? Letter A, social responsibility. Is it possible or negative? Positive. So hindi siya ang sagot. B, resignation and ends up into doing nothing to improve one's condition. Yes, that is negative. C, total surrender to God, positive. God who is omnipotent and omniscient, positive. So what is the answer, guys? The answer is blessing. Okay, nag-resign sa mga trabaho or hindi ginagawa yung trabaho kasi hindi pwede sa religion. And it's blessing. 30. Which of the following statement is true about textbook laid on the table? My God, this is not... This is not a question of English. It's a question of physics. Okay. For example, I have a book here. I'm going to use my phone. For example, this is my phone. Okay. If I place my phone on the table, if I place my phone on the table ng bogam bonga. Example is a table. Okay. And I place here, here. Question, what is the force? That is the question. What is the force? Question. Let's see the question again. Is it, is it accelerating? Is it accelerating? No. Accelerating means bumibilis. It's, in, it's increasing its motion. So, hindi. Question, is it decelerating? No. Hindi mo mabagal. Nakapatong lang, ba? So, this is the question now. Is it no force or zero? The answer here is, is it moving? No. So, hindi blessing in dead. It is zero. The answer is caring. The answer is caring. Okay. Number 31. Analects which are short and witty sayings that treat of moral values and good human relation are attributed to whom? Sino daw sa mga yan ang nagsabi ng moral values and good human relation? Of course, common naman to mostly, pag narinig natin ang word na golden rule, moral values, education, board examination, it's none other than Confucius. The answer here is Confucius. So, pakita natin sa inyo si Confucius. Ayan, siya ay sikat na sikat sa kanyang golden rule. Do not do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. Aside from Confucius, sino pa nagsabi ng line na yon? Walang iba kundi si Jesus Christ. Okay? Aside from Confucius, the other one who says the golden rule is Jesus Christ. Next, sino naman si, ito naman yung analek niya, okay, ang san san yan, san da, ah, ang san san yan niya. Yun ang sinabi dyan, ibig sabihin happy birthday daw. Okay, next. Ito naman si Mencius, ang alaga ni Confucius. Okay, siya ang sumunod na Confucian after Confucius. That is your Mencius. Sino ang alaga ni Confucius? Mencius. Kaya katunog niya. Maliwanag ba? Alaga niya yan. Okay, tiyip. Ganon. Ito naman si Lao Tzu, the father of the wisdom. Sino siya guys? Lao, Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu, father of the wisdom. The wisdom means Tao. Tao, Tao yan, hindi yan Taoism. Taoism or Tao, it means the way of life. The way of life. Okay, Tao, the way of life. Okay, ayun siya. It's Taoism talaga, but uh, pronounces the wisdom. Okay, next. 32. Which of the following is an artistic tradition that seeks to revive past glory? Binanggit ko to kanina. Which of the following can revive past glory? Past daw, so hindi pa ding modern. Modern is now. Contemporary is now. So hindi pa din ang modern, hindi pa din ang contemporary. Because modern and now is both bago. So what is the answer here, guys? The answer here, is it antique or classical? Hindi pa din ang antique. Antique is something for, is, is, uh, is something for uh, an, or, um, an object, okay? An old object, which is, cannot be revived but can be preserved. So the answer is classical. Oh, di ba? Alam niya na. 33. Uh, parang may kaparehan ito nung to kanina. What is the application of the principle of theories of human behavior in teaching and learning? Oh, human behavior. Human, teaching and learning is education. So, educational yan. So, what is ano, human behavior? Again, sinabi ko niya kanina. That is your psychology. Very good. So, this is your educational psychology. 34. Let me read this to you guys. I am a retired public school teacher. As a teacher, I was branded as a terror in school. Ay, may ganun pa pala. The pupils dreaded the day that they would enter my class. Takot ang taong bayan. Little did they know that behind my unpopular facade was a heart. Ay, naku, may puso si bakla. Full of compassion. But how did I earn this moniker? Oh, naging unggoy ba siya? No. Parang ito nakuha yung ganong an image. I did not tolerate dirty pupils. Ay, ayaw niya pala na mga maroraming bata. 
I wanted them to know that cleanliness of body was good of their health. Maganda daw sa health. I inspected their teeth. Ay, ang mga ngipin at gilagid. Nails, footwear, handkerchief, clothes, ears, nose. Ay, nako. Kinikilkal pa lang yung pinipinger ni ma'am. O ngayon, ano daw ang gustong malaman ni ma'am? Tignan natin ang question na to. Ano yan? The public school teacher gives us importance to her pupils. Cleanliness. The answer is amazing. Ayun, ako talaga si ma'am. 35. Considering the tayo-tayo mentality. Ano yung tayo? Ayun, tayo-tayo. Senator Bongbong Marcos po. O, tayo-tayo yun. Ni tayo-tayo, us-us. Ang tayo-tayo ay pakikisama. For example, kung ikaw ay, ano, wala, sa isang lugar ka, pupunta ka lang sa mga kaibigang oso mo, yun ang tayo-tayo. Okay? Common, ah, ayun, pakikisama yun. So, ano daw ang gusto mong mabago para makabnit mo, para ma, ano, para mabago siya. At para may magaga, may, mayroong mas magandang magawa for tayo-tayo mentality natin. The answer here is, a sense of common good, A. Kasi gusto mo hindi lang tayo-tayo, kailangan para sa lahat. Okay, the answer is amazing. 36. Who is the proponent of Arena Theater? <clears throat> okay. The answer here, guys, is none other than Montana. The answer is Montana. The answer is caring. Montana. 37. She is known for the love sonnet she wrote. <clears throat> o yan. Di pa galing nga kayo mang hula ngayon dyan. Sino ba yung apat na yun? Di yun kilala. Tama ba ako? So, ganda na lang yan. Sabihin ko na yung answer sa inyo, guys. Pag sinabi natin guys sa love sonnet, bilugan nyo ang word na love sonnet. May nakalimutan. Wait, balikan ko lang. Sino yung sculptor kanina? Castrillo. Very good. Pag sinabing love sonnet, sino, sino to? It's Ophelia de Malanta. Ophelia de Malanta. Ayan siya. Ophelia de Malanta. O, papakita ko ang picture niya sa inyo. Ayan. Kamag-anak niya si Michael Jackson. Hindi joke lang. Okay? That's Ophelia de Malanta. Kapag love sonnets, Ophelia de Malanta. Okay? Ayan yun. 38. What is the Colonel Papa yan? 38. What is a collection of Indian sacred hymns? Indian sacred hymns. <clears throat> okay. Pag sinabing Indian sacred hymns, guys, the answer here is what? The answer here is Rig Veda. Everyone say Rig Veda. Very good. Rig Veda. Pagka him, him, Rig Veda. Pero pag sinabi naman natin, guys, na Mahabharata. Everyone say Mahabharata. Go. Mahabharata. Go. Mahabharata. Pag sinabi Mahabharata, Mahaba maiksi. Mahaba. Tama ba ako? That is the longest epic in the world. Mahabharata is the longest epic in the world. And Mahabharata is the most famous or most popular Indian story, literature. That is Mahabharata. While Ramayana is the second most important, uh, most popular, second most important Ramayana. While Upanishad are mystic teachings. Ano yung Upanishad, guys? Mystic teachings. So, ano sagot natin? What are the sacred hymns? Very good. Rig Veda. Let's have a recap. Ano yung longest epic in the world? Very good. What is a uh, what is uh, ano? What is the longest play of Shakespeare? Wow, alala, very good. It is your Hamlet. Ano naman yung second most popular Indian uh, literature? Ramayana. Ano yung mystic teaching? Upanishad. Ano naman yung ano? Indian sacred hymns, Rig Veda. Next. Ito ang Rig Veda, okay? Next. Ito ang Mahabharata, the longest epic in the world. Okay, next. Upanishad, mystic teaching. Next. Ramayana, okay, that's the second, okay, greatest work. 39, which is not characteristic of people with a strong sense of self-efficacy. Which is not characteristic, ang hinahalap na negative. Ano daw ang hindi karakteristik ng taong um, self uh, may sense of self-efficacy. O yung mga taong gusto ng ano, which is self-efficacy, ito yung mga tao may tiwala sa sarili, may kakayang gumawa ng mga bagay-bagay na above their own, ano, their own uh, kakayahan. So basically, what is, ano, what is this, guys? Pag ikaw ay may sense of self-efficacy, gusto mo ba ng challenging problems or hindi? Yes, gusto mo. Gusto mo ng challenging problems. So what is the answer here, guys? The answer here is caring. Caring. Kasi sabi ng caring, avoid challenging tasks. Kasabi niya, na, kasi ang tao may sabi kasi gusto niya ng challenging task. The answer is caring. Next. 40. Who is the first mythical geographer who was recognized due to his vivid description of lands and people encountered by his hero, Ulysses? Okay. The answer here, guys, is none other than Homer. Homer. Ulysses came from the story Iliad and Odyssey. Papakita ko sa inyo. Ito nga pala si, ano, si Homer. Ayan siya. Ayan si Homer. Dati siyang goat. 
Okay? Ayun si Homer ng bonggang bong. <laughs> okay? Ang kanyang story ay Iliad and Odyssey. Tapos si Ulysses, ang Latin name for Odysseus. At ang bida doon. Okay? Si Homer, ang bida sa Iliad and Odyssey. Next. Ito naman guys, si, ano, si Verhill. Siya ang nagsulat ng Aenid. Okay? You're all I need without you, girl. Aenid. Maliwanag ba? Thank you so much. Si Aenid yan. Okay? Hindi na tapos. Kasi namatay siya. Ito si Plato. Tatay ni Platito. Okay? Ayan si Plato ng bongga bongga. Siya ang nagsimula ng academy. Ang teacher niya ay si Socrates. Si Socrates. Tapos ang teacher naman ni Socrates, guys. Ang teacher naman ni Socrates ay si Aristotle. Okay. Sino silang tatlo ng bongga bongga? Okay. Simulan natin. <clears throat> si Aristotle ang kanilang pinaka-teacher. Si Aristotle ang nagturo ng reasoning. Anong tinuro ni Aristotle? Reasoning. Very good. Tapos, siya ang Aristotle. Sino? Si Socrates. Si Socrates naman, guys, ang... Anong tinuro sa atin ni Socrates? Very good. Art of questioning. The art of questioning. At as siya ang Socrates, si Plato na nagsimula ng academy. Okay? At ang anak ni Plat- Plato ay si Platito. Very good. Ipos niya yan. Okay? Next. Si Cicero naman ay isang orator. Sino, guys? Orator. Okay? Isa siyang orator. Okay, next. Okay. May ba akong sagutan to? Um, sino ulit siyang orator? Si Cero. Sino yung ano, nagsimula ng um, reasoning? Nagpaliwanag ng reasoning? Aristotle. Sino nagpaliwanag ng questioning? Socrates. Ano nung ginawa ni Plato? Ah, okay. Very good. That is your academy. Sino, ano, ano, sino nagsulat ng Aenid? Sino nagsulat ng Aenid? Verhill. Sino yung orator? Si Cero. Okay, sino yung Iliad and Odyssey? Homer. Very good. Ano yung dalawang sinunod ni William Shakespeare? Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. 41. Haiku is traditional Japanese poems consisting of what? O ano daw yung haiku-haiku na yan, guys? <clears throat> ano kayang haiku-haiku na yan? Ang haiku, guys, everyone say haiku. Haiku. Very good. Three lines, 17 syllables. Ano yung haiku, guys? Three lines, 17 syllables. Ano yung haiku? Three lines, 17 syllables. So, the answer here is caring. Okay. 42. This Filipino writer in English who uses Hispanic Filipino culture and tradition in his fiction works. Sabi dito, okay, isa siyang Hispanic Filipino. Hispanic Filipino. So, half Spanish, half Filipino. Ganito lang yan, guys. Okay. Kapag sinabi, uh, no, Filipino siya, Filipino, sorry. Ang ginagawa niya, Hispanic or Spanish. Pag sinabi ng Hispanic Filipino, guys, natandaan niyo lagi, he is also known as the Quijano de Manila of Philippine literature. Ano sabi ko? Quijano de Manila of Philippine literature. Pag sinabi ng Quijano de Manila of Philippine literature, bali-balik tayo yung word na Quijano, magiging Joaquin. So the answer is Nick Joaquin. Paki-take note yan ha. Paki-take note yan. Pag sinabi natin, guys, na Hispanic Filipino culture, that is Nick Joaquin. Tandaan nyo yan. Pero pag ang lumabas sa board examination naman, ay English or Filipino-American. Ang sagot ay Bienvenido Santos. I will repeat that. Pag Filipino-American, ano yun guys? Bienvenido Santos. Very good. So the answer is blessing. Sino Filipino-American? Bienvenido Santos. Uh, Filipino-Hispanic culture? Nick Joaquin. Ayan siya. Okay. Ayan. Quijano de Manila. That's it. The pen name is Quijano. Sino naman ang Plaridel? Sino ang Plaridel naman? Kung ang Supremo ay si Andres Bonifacio, sino ang Plaridel? ba sabi ko, Kihano, pag baribaliktad rin mo, magiging Joaquin. Pag binaribaliktad mo naman, ang Plaridel magiging Del Pilar. Marcelo H. Del Pilar. Okay, next. Who is a famous composer from... Ay, nasa ano na pala tayo, guys? Ha? Nasa tayo ay nasa social science na or social studies. <clears throat> 43. Who is fa- the famous composer from Angono? Who is also a natural artist? Ayan, nahirapan ng taong bayan. Okay, ganito yan, guys. Kasi yung mga tanong na pag hindi mo alam, hindi mo talaga alam. So, pag yun ang sa board examination, mag, uh, magdasal ka ng tatlong abagi noong Maria, okay? Yes, kasi talagang ano ba? <laughs> Okay, okay. Ah, listen ko. Hindi mo naman alam, di ba? Sagutan na lang natin siya. Hindi pwede si Kayabyab. Si Kayabyab ay galing sa Manila. Si Kayab, Ryan Kayabyab, maestro Ryan Kayabyab, so hindi siya. Si Sinisal naman ay galing sa Cavite. So, ang sagot natin ay Buenaventura San Pedro. The answer is San Pedro. Siya ay walang iba kundi si Lucio San Pedro na siya po ang nagsulat ng Sa Ugoy ng Duyan or Lullaby. 
O di alam yun, okay nandun yun. Sana'y di magmali Huwag dati kong araw O di ba? Sa so, okay nandun yan, lalabay. Ano sa Tagalog ang lalabay? Uyayi. Ano yun, guys? Uyayi. Ang lalabay sa Tagalog ay uyayi. Next. Which among the following is a part of the newspaper where you can see the opinions of people? Ayan, mga OP opinion. Ma- makikita ba yun sa obituary? Ay, hindi ba? Ano ba yun sa obituary? Mga nategi. Tama ba? Mga dead or nawawala. Mga ganon. Okay, ayan. May cross pa siya. So, ang headline naman ay ang ulo ng mga balita. Ano yung headline, guys? Ulo ng mga balita. Very good. Okay. Ano naman ang classified sections? Nansan ang classified ads? Classified ads or advertisement. Classified ads or advertisement. That is your classified ads ng bonggang bongga. Okay? Ano naman ang editorial section? Ang editorial section naman, guys, dyan naman natagpuan, ang yung very good opinions of people. Okay? Saan ang advertisement? Classified ads. Saan ang uli ng mga balita? Headline. Saan ang uh, natagi? Uh, obituary. So, ano sagot? Editorial. Editorial is also known as opinion section, comment section, or your pangulong tudling in Filipino. So, editorial is also known as your pangulong tudling. 45. Oh! Social studies. We are now entering our social studies. Social studies. Now, we're going to discuss social sciences or social studies. So, number 45. Which best describes the division of the legislature into the Senate and the House of Representatives? Okay, when we say um, the government, the Philippines has three branches of government. The first one is executive, the second one is legislative, and the third one is judiciary. Okay? Executive, legislative, and judiciary. Magkakapantay po ang kanilang mga kapangyarihan. Pag sinabi executive, it is the president who headed executive, and they are the one who implements the, the, the law. What do they do, guys? They implement the law. Sila nagpapatupad? Sila ba pumipirma? Yes or no? Do they sign the law? Yes. After the executive, you now have your legislative. The legislative is the, the, the one who is, who are creating the law. Who makes the law? Legislative. Who implements the law? Executive. Ano naman ang trabaho ng judiciary? Judiciary is the one who interprets the law. They are the one who interprets the law. Let's have a recap. Sino that law? Executive. Legislative, judiciary. Who creates the law? Executive. Who implements the, so- the law? Judiciary. Okay? Who is the one who... Anong kitrabaho ng ano? Ano? Who interprets the law? Judiciary. Who implements the law? Executive. Who creates the law? Legislative. Okay. This is the question. Sabi dito, the legislative has two branches, which is known as the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate and the Congress, the Upper House and the Lower House of Representatives. So basically, ano daw ang tawag doon sa dalawa sila? The answer here is bicameralism. Kaya nga, mataas na kamera at nababang kapulungan ng kamera. You have your bicameralism because pag sinabi bicameralism, you have the Senate and you have the Congress. While, part, bipartisanship has two party systems. Ang Pilipinas ba isang bipartisanship? Dalawa lang ba ang partido sa Pilipinas? No, napakadaming partido. Tama ba ako? Pasin ito, PDP Laban, NDP, NPC. Tama ba ako? O maraming marami pa dyan, okay? Yung iba't iba pa nating ano. Like ngayon, sino mga kandidato sa mga pagka-presidente, marami. Unlike sa, isang, sa ibang bansa, for example, the United States of America, they only have bipartisanship. They only have two party system, the Democrats and the Republicans. Okay? Well, the answer here is amazing. Next number. Who was the last Spanish Governor General of the Philippines? Oh, yan na naman. Napariwala na naman ang taong bayan. Ito ba yung si Blackilo Ramon Blanco? Diego de los Rios? Basilio Agustin? Or Filmin Houdenes? Okay. The last Spanish Governor General of the Philippines stayed in the Philippines until 1911. Until 1911, and he is a Governor General of Iloilo, Manila, and Zamboanga. And he is none other than Jego de los Rios. Jego de los Rios. So the answer is Jego de los Rios. Ayan siya. Ayan siya. Iloilo, Zamboanga, and Manila. 19, uh, 1850 to 1911, eh, nasa Pilipinas siya. Okay? Yun yun. Next. Oh, let's uh, find the keywords here. 
which demonstrate interconnectedness between social and environmental injustice. Ang sabi dito, social, social, and environmental. So, dapat may social siya. Pag sinabing social, guys, pag sinabi natin, guys, na social, <clears throat> pag sinabi natin, guys, na social, ibig sabihin nito, may tao, tao, tama ba? Other people. Environment and the people. Isa-isayin natin siya. Tingnan natin to. Letter A. Industrialized countries, toxic disposed to poor countries. May kinalaman ba sa tao? Yes. Environment? Yes. Okay, tingnan natin ang B. Temperature, warming, and rise of sea level. May tao ba? Wala. Environment lang. C. Desertification of verdant regions. No. Uh, environment lang. Extinction of rare animals. Wala rin tao. So, ano sagot dito, guys? The answer is, amazing. Question, question. Meron bang, nangyayari ba yan talaga? Nag nagatapon ang mayayamang bansa sa mahihirap na bansa? Yes or no? Yes. Nangyayari ba yan sa Pilipinas ngayon? Yes. May nagatapon ba sa atin ng, ano, ng basura? Anong bansa? Canada. Very good. Okay? We are buying the, ano, the toxic disposals of Canada. The answer is amazing. 48. What do you call the right to vote and seek public office? Is it a political rights, rights of suffrage, social civic rights, or right to due process? What do you think is the answer, guys? Guys, I know your answer is right to suffrage, right? But wait for a moment. If we say right of suffrage, right of suffrage, it means right to vote. Right to vote. Yeah, right to vote. But wait, the question is not only right to vote. The question is all about right to vote and seek public office. Okay, let me define to you right of suffrage. Okay, next slide, please. Pag sinaming right of suffrage, guys, it came from Latin word, which means vote or suffragium. So the right to vote is suffrage. But the next slide is the political rights. When we say political rights, it's the rights that involve participation in the government or administration. Pag sumali ka na pala sa government, ito ay political rights. Let's go back to the question. What do you think is the answer to this question? Is it right? Is it right of suffrage alone? No. The answer is political rights. Why? 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 Because right to vote and seek public office. So let's underline that. Right to vote and seek public office. Seek public office. Very good. Kasi kapag right to vote lang, suffrage lang yun. Pero pag may seek public office, pag sumali ka na, the answer is political rights. Okay? That's why it's the answer. Next number? Actually, the next number has the same question. Right to vote and seek public office. Ang sagutan ko na to. What is the answer, guys? The answer is political rights. Same question, same question. 50. What they call the tax imposed on all employed and practicing professionals. Ano daw ang tawag sa lahat ng employed at nagapractice na professionals? What do you call that tax? They are called income tax. Kaya ang income kasi may trabaho, may kumikita ng pera. It's income tax. Hindi pwede ah. Sir, ano yung community tax? The community tax is paid by all adult individuals of the country. Lahat. Ang community tax, lahat, lahat nagbabayad. Oh, so, nagbayad na ba kayo ng ganyan? Of course, hindi ka pwede mag-board exam kung hindi ka nakabayad ng community tax. That is your cedula. Community tax is also known as your cedula. So, ano naman ang real estate tax? The real estate tax is the, for properties, yes, properties. How about the inheritance tax? The inheritance tax is for... Pamana, okay? Inheritance, okay? Mga pamana. So the answer here is amazing. So tax is very important for the government. Why? Without tax, the government cannot work, okay? But wait lang. Are there countries na wala talagang tax para sa government? Yes, meron. Dubai. Ang Dubai ay wala. Dubai, uh, Emirates, wala. Why? Paano, sir, sila? Pa paano umiikot ang pera ng gobyerno? They got it from the oil. Oil, okay? So the answer there is tax. Ay, no, hindi pala. Income tax. Next. 51. Which policy of the state provides preferential attention? Take note of that. Preferential attention to the welfare of the less fortunate members of the Philippine society. Nagbibigay daw ng atensyon sa mga may hirap, sa mga may hirap na miyembro ng society. Ano yun, guys? Pag nagbigay ka ng may hirap na ano, ay, nagbigay ka ng atensyon. That is, is it, hindi pa rin criminal justice, wala namang crime. Hindi naman, hindi naman basic yan, so it's not Bill of Rights. So what do you think is the answer here, guys? Okay. Um, hindi pwede, guys. Hindi dito pwede ang uh, criminal sa Bill of Rights. So, is it social justice or distributive justice? Pag sinabi natin, guys, sa social uh, distributive justice, kailangan may madistribute ka na pera, pagkain, or anything. 
So that's a distributive question. May dinistribute pa tayo sa question. Meron na wala. Wala naman. Ano bang binigay natin? Attention. So what do you think is our answer? The answer here is social justice. The answer there is social justice. Okay? <clears throat> 52. Pakibilugan ng word na meritocracy. What is our keyword? Meritocracy. Question, is this the first time that you hear the word meritocracy? Yes or no? Okay, in the Philippines, do we use meritocracy as a social system? No. We use democracy. Question, maganda ba ang democracy? Yes or no? May, may maganda, may hindi. But remember this, democracy is not that good because everyone can say their own opinion. Kahit hindi nila alam yung issue, may sabihin sila. And that's democracy. What is meritocracy? Sa meritocracy, not anyone can say what they want. Not anyone can participate in the government. Only those who are part of the merit group. So who are the merit group? The merit groups are the one who are people of talent. Okay? Merit group are the people with talent. So sir, hindi ba parang ano naman yan? Parang namang unfair sa ibang tao. Actually, it's fair. Why? Lahat ng bata, sa, uh, this is Singapore, the country of Singapore uses meritocracy. So, anong ginagawa doon, guys? Lahat ng bata sa Singapore, mag-aaral ng pantay-pantay sa lahat ng paralan. Pag ikaw ay nagpakitang gilas o gumaling ka doon, o na-reach mong standards nila, you will be part of the merit group. Okay? So, fair pa rin siya. Galingan ng alam ng mga taong bayan. Okay? At sa meritocracy, walang corruption. Why? Mataas ang sahod ng mga government officials, kaya wala silang chance na mangurap. Ikalawa, mapakalaki ng, uh, ng kabayaran pag nag-corruption ka sa Singapore. So the answer here, so, sa, kung naititigyan yung mga sinabi ko, ano ang meritocracy? Ito ba ay ruled by wealthy people, elitism, noble birth, or people of talent? What is our answer? The answer is, blessing. Leadership of people of talent. 53. Which constitutional safeguard prevents one branch of government from becoming powerful or abusive? Para malaman natin, uh, ah, okay, para daw hindi maging ano, masyado makapangiriya ng isang sangay, sabi ko kanina, ang bawat uh, branch ng government ay pantay-pantay lamang, okay? So, ano daw nagtawag sa ano, sa, para ma-prevent natin yung pag, ano, yung maging powerful yung isa or abusive yung isa? The answer here, guys, is, Check and balance. The answer here is check and balance. Pag sinabing check and balance, guys, we are checking the checking and uh, checking. Wait lang. Checking and balancing. Ano? Tinitinay check natin kung balance pa ba yung tatlo. Maliwanag ba? That's it. Ang ombudsman ay kung saan ka magsasampa ng kaso para sa mga public officials or government officials. Ombudsman. Siya yung mag, ano, yan, magbabantay niyan. While the impeachment naman, guys, ang impeachment naman ay binibigay lamang sa mga tao. Okay. So, ang answer dyan ay check and balance. Let's go to impeachment. Okay, next number. Look at this. Ito lang ang mga tao ang pwedeng ma-impeach. The President and the, uh, the President and the Vice President, Supreme Court of the Philippines, Commission of uh, Civil Service, Ele Comelec, Co Commission on Audit, and the Ombudsman. Napansin nyo, wala ang Senado. That's why Revilla, Enrile, and Estrada ay hindi pwedeng ma-impeach. So, ano ba ang impeachment? Makukulong ba pag na-impeach? No. Ang impeachment, guys, is only removal of office. Pag ikaw ay na-impeach, tatanggalin ka lang sa posisyon mo. Who is the first impeached person in the Philippines? Is it Marcos, Estrada, Arroyo, or Corona? Is it Marcos or Estrada? Estrada. Marcos is not impeached. Maliwanag ba? Estrada. Who is the second impeached person in the Philippines? Corona. Who is the third? Wala. Maliwanag ba? Dalawa pa lang sila na-impeach sa Pilipinas. Okay? So, their impeachment. Okay. So, ang sinado sa ombudsman ka mag-file doon. Kaya nga sa ombudsman sila nakabinbin. So, para ma-impeach, kailangan may reason ka. May treason. Okay? Anong treason? Um, uh, kumampi ka sa ibang bansa. Okay? Ano pa? Bribery. Next. Bribery. Okay? Na Nagsuhol ka. Okay? Next. Other, pumatay ka, other high crimes. Next. Graft and corruption. Malversation of funds. What else? Betrayal of public. Ito yung nangyari kay, ano, kay Gloria Makapagal Arroyo. Kaya siya nakasuha ng impeachment case before. Di ba ano sabi ni Gloria Makapagal Arroyo? Yung tumawag siya kay, ano, kay Garci. Di ba tumawag siya doon? Anong sino tinawagan niya? Si Gwen Garci, tama ba? Kaya tumawag siya ng bago kay Garci. Tapos tumawag siya, nasabi niya pagkatapos nun, I am sorry. O, di ba? That is betrayal of public trust. Okay, next. Ito yung check and balance. Okay? Nangyari yung check and balance sa may... Sige, go. Sa batatlong branch ng ating government. Sino yung gumagawa ng batas? Legislative. nag implement ng batas? Executive. Sige, interpret? Judicial. Okay, next. 
what is the predominant characteristic of Eastern religion? Ano ba yung mga Eastern religion, mga singkit? Like for example, yung Confucianism, mga ganon, okay? Buddhism, the wisdom, yun yun. Question, do they teach us pessimism? Pagiging negative? No. Secular, uh, is it mysticism? Kapakapangyarihan? No. Is it amazing or blessing? The answer here is optimism. Being positive. The answer is A. Next. <clears throat> What economic policy on 16th century in Europe influenced Spain's expansionist policy to discover new lands? Ano daw kaya yan? Yung mag-expand tapos sa ma-discover new lands ng bongga-bongga. Para mag-expand ang, ano, ang Europe nun, ang Spain. Oh, that, um, hindi pa din capitalism. Pag sa capitalism, they are looking for money or funds. So, hindi siya yan. Is it spice trading, guys? Hindi rin. Actually, spice trading is to find spices lang. Okay. This is a story of the Philippines. Para sa natagpuan ni Ferdinand Magellan. Um, actually, they're not really going to ano, the Philippines. They're going where? Holucas, the Spice Island. They're going there. Actually, tapos biglang ano, nakita nila yung Philippines ng bonggang-bongga. Pagdating niya sa Pilipinas, pinatay na bagad siya ni, ano, ni, ni Lapu-Lapu? No. Okay? So, hindi pa, umalis pa ba siya noon? Umalis siya. Bumalik ba siya? Yes. Siya ba yung nagsabi na I shall return? No, okay? Si Douglas MacArthur yun. Okay. So, bumalik sa doon siya napatay. Sino ba pumatay? Ano to ba pumatay sa kanya ay si Lapu-Lapu, guys? Sabi nila hindi daw, okay? Kasi yung mga kasama niya, because napakadami, nakakatakot ang takbuhan kami ng mga oras na hindi na namin na-document. Maliwanag ba? Ganun yung nangyari sa amin. Pero ang pumatay talaga sa kanya ay isang palasong may lason. Palasong may lason because I was there. I am so scared. Okay? Ayan siya ng buong ng buong ng so that is your <clears throat> hindi spice trading ang sagot dyan, okay? So, ano nang sagot dyan? Caring or day-day? Ang colonialism ay manakop ng ibang bansa. Manakop ng ibang bansa. Ang sabi, discover new lands. Discover new lands. So, hindi naman sinabing sinakop pa mga ba. The answer here is mercantilism. The answer is mercantilism. Why? When we say mercantilism, you have to have more power. Ayan siya, okay? Next. Ayan, no? Power. Okay, next. 56. What is the right invoked in the writ of habeas data? The writ of habeas data. Actually, this is the right used by Janet Napoles nung tinatanong siya. Okay, ano ba sabi niya sa kanya? Ano ba, natanongin ako si Janet, natanongin ako ng ano, ng, uh, tanongin mo, wari ako, ano, Sir Lando ng ano, kung ako talaga kasama ni Ben Hurley. Okay. Ano sabi niya? I invoke my right to self-incrimination. So basically, ang sabi niya dun, guys, is right to information privacy. The answer there is a right to information privacy. Okay, A. Kung nga alamin nyo ang totoong definition ng writ of habeas data, okay, next. The writ of habeas data is a privacy in life, liberty, security. Okay, yun yun. Privacy in life, liberty, and security. That is writ of habeas data. While the writ of amparo is a right to life, liberty, or security. Take note of that. Kapag right to privacy in life, liberty, or security, writ of habeas data. Pag right to life, liberty, and security, writ of amparo. Okay, next. 57. Whose philosophy advocates the use of reason in understanding the existence of God? Oh, sino sa mga yan ang gumamit ng reason? Pinaliwanag niya ang pang existence ni God, ang existence ni God. Sino kaya dyan, guys, ang nagpa, nag-prove ng existence ni God? Nagbigay ng reason. Dalawa sila actually. Take note of their names. The first one is Saint Thomas Aquinas. So the answer is Saint Thomas Aquinas. The other one is Saint Augustine. So we have two answers. If ever na wala sa Saint Thomas Aquinas, yung sagot natin, Saint Augustine. So basically, they are your... Meron naman sa dulo yun, okay? There's another question sa dulo, okay? They are St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Augustine. Ayan siya. Okay? So siya ang nagsabi na faith and reason is important. Next. 58. <clears throat> Basta natin ang tanong. Which is a check on the executive department? Sino yung check daw? Sino yung check? Executive department. Sino yung check, guys? Executive department. Sino yung check? Judiciary. So... Ang hahanapin natin sa sagot dito, guys, hahanapin natin yung chinicheck ng judiciary ang executive department. Chinicheck ng judiciary ang executive department. Letter A, impeachment of the chief justice. Wait, ang chinicheck ba executive? No, ang chinicheck ay judiciary. Tanggal na agad ang A. 
How about B? Determining the salary of the president and the vice president. Question. Yes. Executive ang sinicheck. Pero wait lang. Ang judiciary ba ang nag-determine ng sahod? Yes or no? The answer is no. How about C? Declaring a legislative measure and constitutional. Wait. Legislative. Sino siya check Legislative. So, hindi pwede ang C. D. Declaring an act of the president unconstitutional. So, what is the best answer here? The answer here is day day. The answer there is day day. Okay, next. 59. Which is a fundamental law of the land? Oh, land daw. Hindi pa ding Ten Commandments. Okay? God yon. The fundamental law of God. Okay? Hindi pa ding civil criminal law. Hindi yan fundamental. So, fundamental? Constitution. Constitution is the fundamental law of the land. The answer is blessing. 60. Ito na tayo. Gregoria de Jesus saw her husband blank, charged for treason by fellow Filipinos who have formed the Philippine River. Sino ba yung Gregoria de Jesus na yan? Si Gregoria de Jesus ang lakambini. Okay? Si Gregoria de Jesus, guys, ang lakambini ng katipunan. So kung siya ang lakambini ng katipunan, asawa niya ang ama ng katipunan. Sino ba ang ama ng katipunan, guys? Walang iba kundi si... Andres Bonifacio. Ang sagot dito guys ay walang iba kundi si Andres Bonifacio. Okay? Ayan, yun ang, si Andres Bonifacio yan ang buong kamay. Sino ang unang presidente ng Pilipinas? Emilio Aguinaldo. Okay? Sino ang ano, aman ng katipunan? Andres Bonifacio. Okay? Si Andres Bonifacio ang sagot natin. Ayan. Si Andres Bonifacio ang sagot natin doon. O yan si Gregoria de Jesus ang buongang-buongga. Ayan siya. Napakalungkot po niya ng mga panahon na yan kasi bising busy hindi po siya nakaka-score kay Andres Bonifacio ng panahon yan. Ayan po kaya nalungkot siya dyan. Kamukha niya po si Ate J. Okay, ayan po. Tapos po namamatay po si Andres Bonifacio ay eh, nakapinos niya agad na magpakasal kay Julio Nakpil. O, oh, di ba? Ang best friend naman ni ano. O, oh, di ba? Masaya ang kwento niya dyan. Yan si Gregorio de Jesus. Okay, next. Ito si Marcel del Pilar. Siya ang Plaridel. Siya ang Plaridel. Okay, next. Emilio Aguinaldo, siya nagtatag ng Emilio Aguinaldo, ah, ng Philippine Independence, sa Kuwait, Cavite, namatay siya sa may Kuwait. Kuwait, Cavite. Okay? Sa Kuwait, Cavite, siya namatay din. Okay? Next. Si Jose Protaso Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda, ang ating pambansang bayani. Okay? Ang pambansang bayani, at siya ang nagtatag ng La Liga Filipina. Ano tinatag niya, guys? La Liga Filipina. Tandaan niyo yun. Ano tinatag niya, Jose Rizal? La Liga Filipina. Pag sinabi naman nating La independensya. Everyone say la independensya. La independensya. Independensya Antonio Luna. Okay? Pag la independensya Antonio Luna. Kapag la Liga Filipina Jose Rizal. Pag la solidaridad Graciano Lopez Haina. Tandaan niyo yung mga sinabi ko ha. Pag la Liga Filipina Jose Rizal. Pag la independensya Antonio Luna. Pag uh, la solidaridad Graciano Lopez Haina. So, what is the answer here? The answer there is Andres Bonifacio pa rin, okay? Ito si Andres Bonifacio, ayan po siya, pagod na pagod siya. 61. What did Nelson Mandela mean to South Africa and the rest of the world? He gave up armed struggle. Oh, kuhita niyo yun. He gave up armed struggle. Gave up. He gave up. So, pag ginave up mga armed struggle, like armed struggle, ang armed struggle, baril-baril, laban-labanan, sampal-sampalan, mga ganon, okay? Yung armed struggle. Ginave up niya daw yun. Ano, so, ano, meron siya? Non-violence. Very good. The answer is non-violence. Next. Yan si Nelson Mandela. Barack Obama was said to be the Nelson Mandela of America. Okay? Next. 62. O ito na ang mga pangyayari sa buhay natin na ngayon. Sino ang tumugtog ng national anthem noong June 12, 1898? Ayan na po mga kapamilya. Alam kaya natin ito. Sino kaya ang tumugtog guys? Ito ba yung pangkat kawayan ng Pateros, Kawit Kabiti Band, Malabon Band, or San Francisco Del Monte Band na napariwara ang taong bayan? O ganito lang yan guys, hindi nyo naman alam, di ba? Noong June 12, 1898, ang nagdeklara ng Philippine Independence ay walang iba kundi si Emilio Aguinaldo pero hindi siya ang nagwagayway ng watawat ng Pilipinas. Ang nagwatagayway ng watawat ng Pilipinas ay ang kanyang kasamahan na si Antonio Ambrosio. Tandaan nyo yan, Antonio Ambrosio. Okay, winagayway ang watawat ng Pilipinas noong June 12, 1898 at ang tumugtog ng national anthem natin na lupang hinirang ay walang iba kundi nang galing pa sila at may daladala silang pansit. Sino yun? Malabon Band. Oh, the answer is Malabon Band. Oh, may mga gusto sila. Ito yung Philippine Independence natin. Next slide. Okay. 
Um, so, hindi pala si Emilio Aguinaldo nagwagayway ng ating watawat, kundi si Antonio Ambrosio. At tandaan niyo to, ang original, ang sino ba nagtahin ng watawat ng Pilipinas? Ang nagtahin ng watawat ng Pilipinas ay walang iba kundi si Marcela Agoncillo. Sino guys? Marcela Agoncillo. At ang original na watawat ng Pilipinas ay may mukha sa araw na ito. Okay? May mukha. Alam niyo kung anong mukha? Yung mukha ng baby sa may teletabis. Maliwa, joke lang, hindi. Okay? Hindi ko alam kung sino yung mukhang yun. Basta may mukha doon, okay? That is sir ano, Philippine independence ng bonggang bonggang. Well, yan ba yung, is that the true independence of the Philippines? Is that the true independence, June 12, 1898? The answer is no. Kasi noong June 12, 1898, hawak pa rin tayo ng mga Amerikano. So, hindi pa tayo talaga independence. Binili tayo ng mga Amerika sa Treaty of Paris. sa Treaty of Paris. Okay? So, binili tayo ng bonggang bongga. So, hindi pa tayo true independence niyan. Kaya na talaga ang true independence natin? July 4, 1946. Kailan, guys? July 4, 1946. Kasabay ng independence ng Amerika mula sa Europa. Okay? July 4. Kaya nga may kanta, di ba, si Katy Perry na ano? Like the 4th of July Cause baby, you're a firework Bakit may firework? Kasi may independence sila doon, okay? Yun yun. So the answer there is... Oh, I will continue next. Secretary, agency task to nurture Philippine arts. Oh, pakisampa na nagsagot ng NBI. NBI, National Bureau of Investigation ng Philippine Arts? No. So, ano bang CCP? Cultural Center of the Philippines. Cultural Center of the Philippines. Ano NCAA? National Collegiate Athletic Association. Yun ang kasama ng UAAP. O, so, hindi yan ang sagot. Pakisampal din ang nagsagot niyan. Okay? How about NCCA? National Commission for Culture and the Arts. National Commission for Culture and the Arts. So, what is the answer? The answer is Dede. Number 64. The ultimate objective of the comprehensive agrarian reform is what? The ultimate objective. What is the ultimate ano, objective of the comprehensive agrarian Carl, ang, ang ginawa ng Carl ay tina, uh, nagbigay ng mga lupa sa mga magsasaka na walang lupa. So, yun yun. So, what is the answer here? The answer is blessing. Distribute all arable lands to the landes. 65. Which was the first labor union in the country founded by Isabella de las Reyes in July 1901? Which was the first labor union in the country founded by Isabella de las Reyes? Okay, Isabella de las Reyes is known to be the father of Philippine labor. The father of Philippine labor. Okay, um, the answer here, as I'm being honest, I'm going to say that Isabella de las Reyes Union Obrera Democratica. The answer is Union Obrera Democratica. It's blessing. Okay? Next. This is Isabella de los Reyes. Or Don Bellong. He's the father of Philippine labor. He is the founder of the Aglipayan Church or the Iglesia Filipina Independiente or the Philippine Independent Church. The Philippine Independent Church is the only remnant, the living rem, the only living remnant of the Philippine Revolution. Okay? The Philippine Independent Church. Maya, maya, pag-usapan natin yun. Okay? So, the answer is Union Obrera Democratica. <coughs> Number 66. Saan daw nakipagkalakala ng Pilipinas sa galleon trade? Okay. Ang galleon trade or kalakalang galleon ay tinatawag ding Manila-Acapulco trade. Ano tawag sa kanya, guys? Manila-Acapulco trade. So, nakipagkalakala ng Manila sa may Acapulco. At ang Acapulco ay parte ng anong bansa? Ito ay parte ng Mexico. The answer here is Mexico or Mexico. Okay? Ayan siya, ang kalakalang galyon. Oh, mula Acapulco, pupunta ng Maynila. At mula Maynila, pupunta ng Acapulco. Okay? Ayan, magkapalitan siya ng bonggam-bongga. Ayan. So, that is your Manila Acapulco. Ayan yun. Sige, seven. How many days are needed after which an enrolled bill becomes a law? O, ganito yan. Sino pipirma ng batas? Executive, legislative, judiciary. Executive. Sa, sa kamay nino? Presidente. Question, if kailangan ba pirmahan ng presidente? Yes, kailangan niyang pirmahan kung approve or disapprove. Meron siyang kapangyarihang i-disapprove ang isang batas na ang tawag ay veto power. Anong tawag guys? 
veto power or set aside. That is your veto power. Kaya lang, halimbawa lang na wala siya or lumabas siya ng bansa at umalis siya. Question, mag, pwede ba maging batas yun kahit hindi niya pinipirmahan? The answer is yes. Pag hindi niya pinirmahan ng isang batas o hindi niya pinansin ng isang batas ng 30 days, ng 30 days, magiging isa siyang batas. So what is the answer here? The answer here is 30 days. 30 days. Next number, 68. What law passed on August 1909 by the U.S. Congress established a partial free trade in the Philippines? A partial free trade in the Philippines. Ano daw yan? O nagkaroon ng partial free trade in the Philippines sa buong bongga. The answer there is Spain Aldrich Act. Nagsabi ang Spain Aldrich Act na magkakaroon ng free trade sa Pilipinas at sa Amerika, sa Pilipinas at sa Amerika by Senator Payne and Nelson Aldrich. Okay? Ayan, Senator Payne and Senator Aldrich. 69. In a matriarchal family, which family member plays the leading role? Oh, matriarchal, or matri, matriarchal, ano yun? Mother. The answer is mother. Pag father, patriarchal. Pag pantay, egalitarian. Pag mother, matriarchal. Pag father, patriarchal. Pag pantay, egalitarian. 70. Oh, nahirapan kayo dyan. Ito lang muna yung tanong ko. What is the keyword in the question? What is the keyword in the question? The keyword is Spanish. Spanish mestizo priest. Kailangan nakita yung keyword na yun. Spanish mestizo priest. Question. Ito lang naman yan eh. Sino ba ang Spanish dyan? Question. Kailangan niyo ba si Gumbursa? Gumbursa. Gomez, Burgos, Samora. Ramos, sino sila? Sila ang tatlong haring nagsidalaw at ang bawat isa nagsipaghandog ng tanging alay. Okay? So, sila ang Ayan, oh, ayan, ano yung drawing na yan? Ay, tatlong binitay na pare. Okay? Ang tatlong paring martir ng bonggang bongga, sila nga pala ay ang gumborsa na, ay, party-party silang tatlo. Oh, therefore, Pilipino ba sila? Yes! So, ang hinanap ay Spanish. Wait, sino ba ang Spanish dyan? Walang iba kundi si Padre Pedro Pilaes. Padre Pedro, kasi si Gregorio Aglipay ang unang obispo ng Iglesia Filipina Independiente or Philippine Independent Church. Next question. What was it? <laughs> Number 71. What was the term given by Marcel del Pilar to hidden control and domination of Spanish religious priests over the colonial government? Ganito lang yan. Ano daw ang tinawag ni Marcelo del Pilar sa mga pare ng colonial government? Question. What do we call the priests during the Spanish era? That is your fraile. Am I right? Oh, Fraile, parang demokrasya, government, krasya. So the answer is, frailokrasya. The answer there is, dele. the answer is, frailokrasya. 72. While authority should be respected, its opinion may be an error. Which of the following represents a better or more certain avenue to the truth? O, oh, ayun na daw yan. Hindi mo naintindihan, English. While authority should be respected, its opinion may be an error. Baka daw yung mga otoridad nagkakamali din minsan. Tama? So, ano daw ang kailangan gawin para masigurado natin na hindi sila magkakamali? The answer is, amazing replication or repeat and check. Napansin namin sa board examination, pag ang sagot, option, ay may open at close parenthesis, karaniwan siya yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, the answer is amazing. 73. Who is known as the father of the local government code? The local government code is RA 7160. 7160. RA 7160 for the local government code. And who is the father of local government code? It is none other than, it's none other than Aquilino Pimentel. Aquilino Pimentel or Aquilino Nene Pimentel. The answer is Dede. Hindi ba si Estrada? Mga ano yan eh. Okay. Yung iba kasi mga senator, lang, senator sila. Is Aquilino Pimentel. The answer is Dede. Tingnan nyo. There you go. That is Aquilino Nene Pimentel. 74. Ah! Sinabi ko na to kanina. Who is the first editor of La Solidaridad? The answer is, very good is, Graciano Lopez Haina. The summary ka. Pag La Liga Filipina, Jose Rizal. La Independencia, Antonio Luna. La Solidaridad, Graciano Lopez Haina. Baka narito kayo kanina sa isang slide. Sabi kasi, Marcelo del Pilar, La Solidaridad. Siya ang co-editor, but he is not the first editor. Okay? The answer is Graciano Lopez Haina. Ito silang tatlo magkakaibigang oso. Ayan sila, si Jose Rizal, Antonio Luna, at saka si, ano, si Graciano Lopez Haina. Oh, kinaganda nila yan. Okay, next. 
Sabi 5, The Philippines is the only blank country in the world. Walang sagot yan. Wala na, hindi, are we communist? No. Are we Buddhist? No. Are we Christian? Yes. Are we Muslim? N uh, not holy. But remember, ang tanong kasi the only eh. So actually, we are not the only Christian country in the world. But the answer is Christian. You answer Christian. The answer is C. We are the biggest Christian country in Asia. Remember that. We are the biggest Christian country in Asia. And we are not the only Christian country in Asia. Del dalawa tayo. We have the Philippines as the biggest. And the second one is Timor-Leste or East Timor. Okay, next. 76. In social trends, how do you call those who are the revival of the classics? Revival of the classics. Okay. Pag sinabing existentialism or existentialist, that is your opinion or freedom. Manin guys? Opinion or freedom. Manin guys? Opinion or freedom. Pag existentialist, existence, you have your choice, freedom, ganon. Pag rationalist, reason. Okay? Si ano yan? Sino ulit yung reason natin kanina? Very good. It's Aristotle. How about humanist? Humanist means holistic, beauty, arts, classics. That is your humanism. Reformist is also known as reconstructivism. Reconstructivism is changing the society. Changing the society. So what is the answer here? The answer here is none other than humanism. Caring. Humanism. <clears throat> 77. What happens to a good action when it is performed on account of an evil motive? Oy, ano nangyari doon? Maganda yung ginawa niya, pero evil ang motibo niya. Nagbigay siya ng mga tumulong siya sa may hira, pero ang gusto niya is makamkam yung lupa nila, mga ganun. So what is the answer here? It is still evil. Still evil. So what is the answer? The answer is, blessing. <clears throat> Nasabi ko na ito kanina, 78. The tax required to be paid annually by all adult citizens of the Philippines. O binabayaran daw ng lahat ng adult citizens ng Pilipinas. What do you call that? It's called community tax. Ano tawag doon ulit guys? Cedula. Very good. Tingin sa akin. Ano yung ano? Ano yung uh, properties? Properties. Real estate. Ano yung samana? Inheritance. Ano yung income tax? Professionals or employed. Very good. The answer is amazing. Binabayaran ng lahat ng taong bayan. 79, sinabi ko na rin yan kanina. What is the writ of amparo? What is the writ of amparo? The writ of amparo is the right to life, liberty, and security. The answer is day day. O, oh, that's yan yan. Sinabi na natin. 80, what is one of the man-made pointers? Wag kamali ka dito, sampalig yung sarili nyo ha. Anong keyword? Man-made. Anong keyword? Man-made. My God. Ang Taal Volcano ba ay man-made? Ang Manila Bay ba ay man-made? Anong sagot? Rice Terraces. Is the Rice Terraces part of the four of the World Heritage Sites? The answer is, not anymore. Okay? The Rice Terraces is not anymore part of the World Heritage Sites. Well, natanggal siya kasi hindi siya na-maintain. So, hindi na nakasama ang Rice Terraces ngayon. Okay? Pero meron pa rin tayong apat na pakasama sa ating... Uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, ano apat ito, guys? Isa, isahin natin sila. Number one. Ang una natin, guys, ay walang iba kundi ang Tubataha Reef ng Palawan. Tubataha in the underground river of Palawan. Number two, you have your The Streets or the City of Vigan. Okay? Which is also one of the seven wonders of the wonder cities of the world. Number three, you have the Baroque Churches of the Philippines. Namatagpuan ng apat na Baroque Churches, pa Pawai, Vegan, Intramuros, Maynila, at Iloilo. Okay, the Miyagaw Church. So, apat yun, okay? And the fourth one is the Biodiversity in Mindanao. Okay, so apat ang ating ano. Ikaapat dati ang rice terraces, natanggal na siya ngayon. Oh, the answer there is amazing. 81. As a social science teacher, 